So for this project, you're going to need a knife. I have a kitchen knife and a box cutter knife. I also have a speedball carving tool here. I'm gonna make one of my prints with the knife and one with the carving tool. I also have a Sharpie or a writing utensil, a sponge, and I'm gonna grab a variety of paint brushes. The paint that I'm using today is just a student grade acrylic paint. I poured out black here, but later I decided to go with color. But this is the brand either way, it's the Start Academic Acrylic Paint. I also have paper towel and the paper I'm going to print on. And of course, my potato. Slicey, slicey. I try to cut the edges so that they're super flat and then I want them to be dry before I carve them. So I'm gonna put them on my paper towel for a while. So here's the first one. I have my half of my potato and then I'm gonna use my kitchen knife and my box cutter knife. So I start out by drawing out my design. I started out with my lemon slice design here. I try to keep my shapes really simple. I find it easier to carve simple shapes out using a kitchen knife. So I'm gonna start by removing the excess around the outside of my design so that my design is raised from the rest of the potato. And then I'm slowly going to remove all of the pieces that I don't want in my final design. Or in other words, I'm just removing all of the negative space. Just take your time with this and be careful. I don't press down very hard when I'm carving and I just remove tiny pieces at a time. So here's the finished carving. You can see that all the negative space that was removed, it left me with these big shapes that my paint is going to stick to. And here's my printing process. So I'm gonna use this scrap piece of computer paper to do some test runs on, and then I'm gonna print it out onto this cardstock um, and just use it as a blank card. So here's the colors that I decided to go with for this print and the other half. I have blue, yellow, and red. In this print, I'm just going to use yellow because it's just a lemon slice. So I've got my sponge. And you can also use your paintbrushes in the same way. So I'm going to apply the paint to the carving. It's dried off and I'm gonna use my sponge and apply just a small amount of paint to the surface of my carving. And I'm gonna sort of tap or dab, 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 dab the paint onto the surface in a nice thin, even layer. So when I go to do a test print, I just wanna figure out how hard I need to press down or if I put the right amount of paint. So I'm gonna try just a test run first to see how it goes. And in this one, the middle was missed. And I think it's because I didn't press hard enough. So I'm going to reapply the paint and press down a little harder when I try to print it this time. Ta -da! There we go, that's better. So now that I can see the middle showing up, I know I just need to press down harder when I'm printing. And now I'm just gonna have some fun printing on my card.
So between each one, I'm gonna apply new paint to my potato between every single time that I press it down. So it's kind of treated equally each time. Ta-da! So here's the next one. I'm gonna make my strawberry print and I'm gonna use my speedball carving tool for this one because I can just get a little bit more detail into my print this way. So I'm just gonna start off by drawing the shape that I want and I'm gonna use two colors for this one. I'm gonna use green for the little top and red for the berry itself. So I'm gonna carve this out now and I'm gonna do the same thing as I did before, just removing all of the space that I don't want to print in my final design. So here it is, my strawberry design. It's a little hard to see here, but oh, that's a little bit better. I removed little tiny pieces for the seeds as well. And let's get to printing. So for this one, I'm gonna use my paint brushes because I want to apply green to the little top of my strawberry and red to the rest. But I'm gonna do it in the same way that I use the sponge. I'm just going to apply some paint and then kind of tap it onto the surface of the potato. Tap, 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 tap. And just carefully filling in the top portion. And my camera died here, so I missed a little bit, but you can see here that I'm just reapplying the paint between printing it onto my paper but here's a little shot of how I apply the red. With my paintbrush and I just sort of tap, tap, tap it onto the surface to cover the rest of the berry. So both of my prints, my strawberries and my lemon slices, one done with the speedball carving tool and one with a knife. Thanks for watching.